Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Sparkle English, where I teach you how to improve your level of English so you can become a better English speaker or writer. Today's video is another one of my series, English Writing Essentials, and I'm going to talk to you about capitalization. I'm going to go over all the different rules of when you know to use an uppercase or capital letter instead of a lowercase or small letter. So in this lesson, we are going to discuss rules related to capitalization in English. This means I'll teach you when to use capital or uppercase letters in a word or sentence. So for example, A, B, and C, these are all capital letters or uppercase letters, as opposed to A, B, and C, which are lowercase letters. So rule number one. Always capitalize the first word of a sentence. So whenever you start a new sentence, you always have to capitalize the first word. So for example, the man worked late last night. Why are you looking at me? Let's go to the cinema. Should we get a coffee? You'll notice that the first word is capitalized in each and every one of these sentences. So every time you end a sentence with whatever punctuation mark, whether it's a period or a question mark, when you begin a new sentence, you have to capitalize the first word. So if this sentence was, the man worked late last night, you would have a period and the next sentence could be capital W, where was he, for example. The second rule is you always need to capitalize names and other proper nouns. So always capitalize proper nouns in English. And if you don't know what a proper noun is, a proper noun is a specific, so not a generic, name for a particular person, place, or thing. Proper nouns are always capitalized in English, no matter where they fall in a sentence. The names of cities, countries, nationalities, companies, religions, and political parties are also proper nouns, so you should capitalize them too. So for example, a common noun would be girl. A proper noun would be a name of a girl, so for example, Jennifer. You would have to capitalize the J in Jennifer. A common noun would be a city, a proper noun, Toronto is the name of the city, so you have to capitalize the T. A day, Friday, again with a capital. A month, December. A nationality, Canadian. Religion, Christian. Okay? So for common nouns, you do not have to capitalize girl, city, day, month, nationality, religion. But a proper noun, you do have to capitalize when it is a specific name for a particular person, place, or thing. So here are some more examples. She lives in India. Again, the she is capitalized because it's the first word of the sentence, and India we have to capitalize because it's the name of a country. I saw Michael at this Chinese restaurant in London. Chinese is a nationality, Michael is a name, and this is the first letter of the sentence, and also it's the word I, which we always capitalize. Do you have to work on Friday? My meeting is in June. My meeting is in June. Lauren works at Amazon. Amazon is the name of a company, so you have to capitalize the name because it's a proper noun. So again, like we said before, you have to capitalize cities, countries, nationalities, and languages because they are all proper nouns. So you can see all of these examples of cities, Paris, Rome, New York, Vancouver, Dubai. We have to capitalize all of these because they're countries, Canada, China, India, Pakistan. We have to capitalize nationalities, Canadian, Australian, Japanese, Dutch, and we have to capitalize languages as well. English, French, Spanish. 
Now this one gets a little bit more complicated. We have to capitalize the first word of a quote when the quote is a complete sentence. So for example, Joe asked, we have a comma and quotation marks, is Brian going to the meeting on Friday? So because this quote is a complete sentence, we have to capitalize the first word of the quote. Again, he can't go. He's busy that night, Mary replied. Again, we would capitalize this because it's the first word of the quote. And this is a full sentence. Okay, now this is what you should not capitalize. Do not capitalize seasons. A lot of people make a mistake and capitalize the seasons. And of course, the seasons are spring, summer, fall or autumn, and winter. So the names of days, months, and holidays are proper nouns. So you should capitalize them. So for example, I don't like Valentine's Day. You would capitalize the V in Valentine's and the D in day because that's the name of the holiday. It's Valentine's Day. My birthday is in March. We capitalize this because it's a month. I start work on Monday. We capitalize the M because it's a day of the week. However, we never capitalize seasons unless it was the start of a sentence. So I enjoy Christmas every winter. Winter, no capital letter, lowercase. My favorite thing about the fall is Halloween. Again, we'd capitalize the C in Christmas because it's a holiday. We'd capitalize the H in Halloween because it's a holiday. It's a proper noun. And I love spring. Again, lowercase letter because we do not capitalize seasons. Okay, rule number five. We capitalize most words in titles. The capitalization rules for titles of books, movies, and other works can change depending on style guides. Generally, you should capitalize the first word, all nouns, verbs, adjectives, and proper nouns. That means you should lowercase articles, conjunctions, and prepositions. But here's a note. Some style guides say to capitalize conjunctions and prepositions that are longer than five letters, okay? So here's some examples. I love watching The Lord of the Rings. So we're going to capitalize this first T in the because it is the first word of the title. So we have to capitalize it if it's a title. We have to capitalize the first word. Then we capitalize Lord because it's a noun of the rings. Also, we capitalize rings because it's a noun, but we would not capitalize of and the. We do not capitalize articles, conjunctions, and prepositions, okay? So look here, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We don't capitalize and, again, it's a conjunction, the because it's an article, and then of, because it's a preposition. So we only capitalize these names, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, because they're nouns. My favorite show is Game of Thrones. Again, we capitalize this and this because they are nouns, and also this is the first word of the title. And we do not capitalize of because it's a preposition. Okay, number six, always capitalize the pronoun I. A common mistake of English language learners is to forget to capitalize the pronoun I. Examples, Larry is going to order fish and I am going to order steak. You always, always have to capitalize I. You should never have a sentence with an I like this as a word. You could not say, I am tired. You always have to capitalize this and make this a capital. Always. Do you think I should talk to her? Again, capitalized. We should go, but I'll call you later on. Again, this is capitalized. I'll, if you 
say I'm, I'll, I'd, all of these should be capital I, okay? Always capitalize the pronoun I. Now, capitalize the official title of a person when used with that person's name. So, what that means, before we were talking about titles, like titles of books or movies or articles, now we're talking about the official title of a person. So, for example, doctor, mister, professor. So, look at this first sentence. I think Dr. Smith is really friendly and professional. So, we would capitalize the doctor like this with a capital D because we're using the title right before his name. If we had the full version and wrote Dr. Smith like this, we would still capitalize the D because it's used with his name. We're specifying what doctor because that would be a proper noun. We're saying Dr. Smith, okay? But then if someone responded and said, yes, she is a great doctor, we would not capitalize this D because this would just be a general, a common noun. She's a great doctor. We're not referring to her as her title as Dr. Smith. Okay, the next one. Many people miss President Obama. We're using the official title right before his name. Well, I guess now he's not President Obama, but a lot of people will still call him that. So we would capitalize the P because it's the official title of Obama, President Obama. And then if you said, I don't like our current president, we would not capitalize the P here because this is a common noun. We're not using this word with the name of the president, okay? Other titles you would always have to capitalize. You would see a lot, Mr. For example, Mr. Thomas, you would always capitalize the Mr. like this. Miss Smith, Mrs., Ms., and so forth. Okay, and now it's time for us to do some practice and see what you have learned. So I have four different sentences here and I have put no capital letters in any of these sentences. What I would like you to do is take a piece of paper or just go into the YouTube comments section and try to write out the sentences capitalizing the proper letters or just on a piece of paper um, beside your computer or your phone jot down which letters you think should be capitalized or which words should be capitalized, okay? So I'm going to read you all the sentences and then I want you to try to capitalize them correctly you can go back in the video and try to refresh your memory for certain things, and then I'll tell you the answers um, at the end. Okay, Joe asked, what is everyone doing on Friday? His birthday is in October in the fall. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. She is English, but she speaks French perfectly. Okay, you can pause the video if you want to Take some time to think which should be capitalized and I'm going to go ahead and show you right now what you should capitalize in these sentences. So Joe should be capitalized. Joe, first of all, it's the first word in a sentence so it should always be capitalized but Joe is also a name, a proper noun, so you always have to capitalize a name. The next one we should capitalize is what. That's because it's the first word in a quote, in a complete, in a quote that's a complete sentence. So we have to capitalize the W. And the last one is F for Friday because we capitalize the days of the week. The next one, we capitalize his because it's the first word in a sentence. We capitalize the O in October because it's a month. We do not capitalize the F in fall because remember, it's a season. The next one, we capitalize M because it's the first word in a sentence. And now here we have a title, Pride and Prejudice. So we're gonna capitalize the P because it's the first word of the title. We're gonna capitalize this P because it is the last word of the title and also because it's a noun, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Capitalize the J 
and the A, because that is the author's name, it's her name. In the last sentence, we capitalize the S and she, again, because it's the first word of the sentence. And now we're gonna capitalize the E in English because this is a nationality, she is English, but she speaks French perfectly. We're going to say capital F for French because that is a language. So there were 13 words that we had to capitalize in this. Let me know how many you got out of 13. And you can put that in the comment section and let me know which ones you didn't get right, which ones you did get right, and um, how successful you were with this practice. So thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, Sparkle English, for more ESL videos and more videos on helping you improve your punctuation, your writing skills, your speaking skills, your listening skills. I also have other videos in this series of my English writing essentials where I teach you how to use commas, how to use apostrophes, quotation marks, and I have many more videos in the works for this section as well. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in my next lesson.